Julian, did you get your car? So, you want to be fond of this Bow Wow? So, Bow Wow, why are you doing this? I mean, for me, I just feel like it's important, you know what I mean, for, for our youth to get out here and vote, to get active, to bring awareness to them. Um, like I said, if you look back at the Pope, like the last election that we had, you know, like I always credit guys like Puff and those guys who started the Vote and Die campaigns. Definitely strong, but, you know, we needed a couple more men and the, the youth to get out there and vote. We needed those extra votes. And I just look at this whole little situation as like the live and the learn situation, you know. Now we got the same opportunity as we had a couple years ago, and uh, hopefully we won't, we won't let that, that happen again. So, you know, I, and I just feel like if we want the youth to vote, I feel like there's nobody else that can really tap into the youth the way I can. I've been doing it through my music for so many years, and I feel like if I can move them through my music, and hopefully if I get behind this and do something that I'm passionate about, which, which is to the, the encourage the youth to get out and vote, and hopefully they can take it how they perceive my music. Hopefully they can go by the same direction. I just feel like it's important. And I'm just taking the initiative uh, to, to go ahead and step out and just do it. Any, any, any young entertainer could have did it. Chris Brown could have did it. Soldier Boy could have did it. But I felt like it was my job. It was my opportunity to do it being that I am one of the originators of the whole youth movement. And uh, I feel like it was my time. I felt like it was my time, my job. And um, I felt like, you know, it was my duty and I was called on the do So what are you going to do exactly? Tell us what the plan is. Yeah, well, Walk Across America is a, it's a multi-city style. Multi-city, like a multi-city style. Basically, what we're doing is, you know, walking through different cities, going to different universities, uh, getting, getting the kids, uh, getting the youth and getting all the college students to get registered to vote. Um, and, and that's what it's all about, just bringing awareness. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's very important, especially in the time that we're living in right now. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on, gas. Luckily, we're getting our gas back, but I mean, it's crazy right now with the whole recession and everything that's going on. So I just feel like it's, it's, it's my time to get out here and, and, and bring awareness. Yeah, so far in Georgia, we have advanced voting here, and 40% yeah, yeah, yeah. of the voters that have voted so far have been African American, which is much higher than another election. How right. encouraging do you think that is? Yeah, it's very encouraging because, you know, hopefully this can be a domino effect. You know? What I mean by that is once once they see us actually doing something about it, maybe, you know, the, the, the next group will do the same thing. I think I think it's dope, and, and, and the reason being is I, I think it's just a different day. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, I'm a first time voter. It's the first time, you know, I'm doing this. I never would have thought in a million years I'd be standing in front of the CNN building with a crowd of people around me walking through the cities and getting and encouraging the youth to vote. I mean, it's just wonderful, you know what I'm saying? So if I can do it, everybody else can do it too. And it's time for a change. We need it right now. The economy's bad. Uh, you got a lot of kids missing school. Uh, gas shortages. You know, kids can't get to school because the buses. Not a lot of kids are fortunate to have parents to drive them. So, um, you know, everybody's been affected by it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's a bow wow. Are you endorsing them? Are you endorsing one person or just trying to get people to vote? Um, I'm, I'm trying to get people to vote. You know, I've made up my mind a decision who I'm voting for. I just kind of keep that personal to myself. My mother always told me, you know, two things you really don't talk a lot about is religion and politics to people. And, you know, my whole thing, I, I'm just really just keeping it to myself because Walk Across America is for everybody. I don't want it to be like, well, he's trying to get millions of people to vote for this particular candidate. And, you know, we just really want to bring the awareness out. But, you know, I've made my decision on who I'm voting for. And, um, I'm, you know, I'm sure people know. And that's... What's your, what's your message to these students here in Georgia? Man, Georgia get, State, Clark. Man, that. just to get out here and vote, man. It's definitely important, man. My whole, my whole objective with this, my goal is to tap into the crowd that was once like me. And the reason why, another reason why I really wanted to do it is because I'm just like, you know, a couple years ago when I was 18, you know, uh, when I couldn't vote, you know, I, I was looking at it like, yo, I, no offense, but I'm like, I, I think it's for old people. You know, I think, like, this really is not for me. I'd rather be at the mall. I'd rather be kicking it with a girl. Like, being dead honest. So that, I feel like that's why I can relate to the youth so much because I'm sure they think the same thing. Like, I'd rather be doing something else. But in our reality, while you're doing something else, you know, that, that the time that's being passed, man, you know, things are changing. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and by you having fun so much, you really don't look at what's really going on. And everything is passing you by until the time comes. You're like, oh my God, we got no gas. Like, what did that happen? Well, you would have known if you was paying attention. So it's really just bringing out awareness to them and just letting them know how important this is, man. This is for everybody. If you live in this country, then you should have a right and input into what's going on. And you should want to make a difference. And me, you see, I'm out here. I'm right here with the people. I'm touching the people. And um, and this how it is, man. And I, and I wanted to be the first person to do it. Like I said, you got guys like Puff. I applaud them. But, you know, they, they, they have power in within the youth, but they're not the youth. 
they're, they're in their 30s and you know so we look at them like you know they could be our parents so it, it, it feels good when you see somebody in your age range somebody who understands somebody who thinks like you uh, dress like you somebody who you look at like yo that's me alright well I can go do that too so hopefully that's the message that we want to get across does this ever cross racial lines you're talking about all young people all young people yeah it's not it's not just for blacks it's not just for whites it's for everybody it's for everybody it's, it's the youth when I say the youth I'm talking about the people from 18 up to 25 you know what I'm saying the youth just just period. Race doesn't matter. Why do you think a lot of you don't vote? Uh, the reason being because of what I said, they feel like, you know, and I understand that, you know, it's better things that they, within their mind that they think is better. Like I said, you know, when you're young, they rather kick it at the mall. And I think what's crazy is even when I'm doing stuff like this, you can just tell how the youth is because when they see me, they're not going to see Bow Wow. Um, you know, they, they, they when they look at me, they're like the artist. Well, Bow Wow the artist, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different day to day. So, you know, it's just the youth, man. I mean, they just feel like there's other stuff that they could be doing, whether it's being on YouTube, whether it's being at the mall, whether it's doing whatever it is. So, I think that's the reason why. I mean, they're so busy doing other things, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, they really don't get a chance and an opportunity to pay attention to the real things in life. So, hopefully, that's the message we get across. Okay, one more question for you. What are some of the political issues that you the economy, should be looking at? The economy, the economy is definitely it. It's not the biggest. Um, like I said, it's crazy, man. I mean, the whole gas show, this thing is ridiculous. We got people fighting at the gas stations. Um, I mean, on top of that, I mean everything, man. I mean, foreclosures at an all-time high. I live in a, a, a neighborhood where a lot of celebrities, a lot of Falcon players live in, and I mean, it's, it's a shame, man. Like houses being foreclosed. One of the biggest banks, if not the biggest bank, right in our country, it's closed. Like, it's crazy. People are waking up, losing stuff every day. I got family and relatives that are losing stuff every day. Um, a lot of celebrities are being affected by it. You know, uh, I think I, I seen Puffy with YouTube. He's like, man, I don't even fly my private plane no more. I'm flying American now. <laughs> so it just shows you that even the people who are successful, they're being affected by it. I, I sold my tour bus. You know what I'm saying? I, gas was 500. Now it cost me 18.50 to fill up every time I stop. That's ridiculous. I, I put that back on the lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather fly too. So um, yeah, I, th I just think that this is a wake-up call for America. You know, we've been blessed and, and we've been said to be the, the richest country and we've been spoiled for so long and I think that now people are really starting to wake up and, and come to realization and see what's actually going on. This is a wake up call. I know when I saw it, I'm like, yo, I got to get on my job. Like, let me go ahead and if there's anything that I can do to help, then let me do it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay, thank you. You got I think it. I can get a foreclosure.